what's up everyone just hang in there really quick going to get it all set up for you let's do this let's put you on a new stand new stand not news stand let's see if i can make it wider that's wider All right, got some stuff to talk about. So I'm gonna wait for some people to get up here. It's probably the kind of point of the day where I don't think anybody's free right now, but it'll replay. So uh, if you're watching on the replay, just fast forward to uh, and start talking. I'm gonna get into my get up. Just wanted to show you guys the shirts. These are it right here. I will be giving these away. Hypa has entrusted me with a ton of these shirts to give away. So I'm not sure yet how to do this yet, but we're going to be talking about it soon. So if you want to grab one of these, stay tuned. All right. These are from Hypa. Hypa Parts. Hypastore.com or Hypa Store. Right now they're running a huge sale, so check them out. So that's an embroidered shirt very nice material this is like heavy duty material great for working around the shop or just going out to dinner or something i don't know these are extra large and i got double x for the for the big guys which i'm not pretty sure a lot of you guys are bigger than me so i ordered i got them also well so this is an extra large it is kind of snug on you i'm gonna put it on just to show you but um these are this is the shirt that you always see me hanging back there or i always have it um hanging back there <laughs> but anyway so they uh they i didn't ask them they actually sent these to me they actually went on one to know if i wanted to give them away which is kind of cool so i kind of feel honored it's uh pretty awesome so So anyhow, so this is the shirt I'm wearing. Okay. Um, let's do this here. All right. All right. So welcome back, everyone. Hey, this is uh, Lalo Carlo with the Cutting Force Channel. I gotta do something about the name. I don't know. Anyhow, um, I got a bunch of shirts from Hypo. This is an extra, extra large right here. Also, so they gave me a bunch of these, which is kind of cool. I'll be giving these away throughout the year. Um, so, I got a lot of them, so it's kind of fun. I thought I'd talk about it right now. That noise, I'm sorry. I thought I'd talk about it right now because they sent me this stuff and didn't let me know that there was a huge sale going on right now, which is kind of cool. So, they didn't communicate with me at all to promote it. They just asked if I would like to give out some shirts, I guess. So, um, they liked the video that I did with the chain. I was very, 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 very shocked with the performance of that chainsaw chain. Um, I'm still using it. And this is my honest thought from the beginning. I thought it was going to be junk for the price. I thought it was like, yeah, I'll, I'll get it a free one and try it out. And I'll, you know, I'll see how it is, but... Oh my goodness, the very first cut with it, it was just, wow, just what a cut. Um, I was dumbfounded. Uh, I'm not paid to say anything about it. They didn't give me anything other than just giving me the chain, which I could have bought it. It's really inexpensive. I'll see who's, somebody just said something on there. Um, let me see what the live chat says. Set that Allen's? What's up, man? I can barely read it. My eyes are bad. Um, yeah, so the chain that I got was awesome. Um, right now, they're 80% off, so they're almost 2 bucks a piece. 
they're only available from the 8 inch to the 18 inch that's all they have available so you can't get a 24 inch or anything else which i really need is a 24 uh for the big saw but um Oh my goodness, for the price, you can't beat it. I mean, they're averaging around averaging around nine something on sale because you get two in a packet and it comes out to about nine dollars a piece. They're always having a sale. Um I'm so sorry guys. If you watch my lives in the past, you know that I got a significant other that just just seems to ruin everything that no matter how Many times I think I'm in the safe zone. Something comes up, like you'll hear it ring in a couple more seconds. Knowing that I'm out in the garage, not that far away from the house, but she's gonna call me and call me until I pick up. I keep telling her, "Don't call me on my phone because I'm probably doing a YouTube video or I'm one with a customer or this and that." Just come out and talk to me. I need to get a two-way walkie-talkie com or something. Here we go. Hold on. I'm live, so don't say anything. I need to talk to you. I'm live on YouTube. Talk to me later. I need to talk to you. Can I talk to you outside really quick? I'm live. Yes. yes. Like I say, just give me one second. I gotta see what's going on. I do apologize. This is my life. This is why I, I, I'm literally talk, thinking about just not doing YouTube anymore. I can't do anything in my life. <laughs> there you go. Hey, um, I, I don't know why I haven't gone viral with the dumb shit that happens to me. I really don't know why. I really don't even want to go viral because it's embarrassing. I, I'm really thinking about changing the name of it or starting a whole new channel like Dumb Shit Happens to Me on a regular. I got a couple ideas for names. Starts with Broken. And um, I don't know. Yeah, I got to get opinions on that. Because I'm thinking about just starting a whole other channel with like a camera and a crew following me around all day long. And be like, there's no possible way this much bad shit happens to one person. There's just no way. Oh, she's arguing about some dumb shit with the neighbors that happened 300 years ago. You know how women are. They'll bring up something. Uh, okay, so. All right. Let's just put that away. Thanks for, yeah, thanks. The shirts are really nice. Like I said, yeah, I give thanks to Hypa, Hypa Parts. If you haven't heard about them, if you do know about them, if you go on Amazon and you order something, right, and you buy parts, especially like carburetors, you know, like generic stuff that you might want to get, like filters, things like that. There's a host of different suppliers on there that are selling them on Amazon. These guys are one of them. Um, look for their stuff because it's usually cheaper. And I'm serious, I've looked it up. They're not all the time, but for the most part, they're like, they could be as little as a buck cheaper. It's enough to make a difference. Like, I just ordered from them um, the Kawasaki air filters. If you buy them from Kawasaki, you're looking at paying like $3,000 for one air filter, um, which is stupid. I, I don't see the, the the quality value of how much more they charge. I'd rather just go through a bunch of them because they get dirty so fast, especially when leaves. So I've been buying them on Amazon, whatever. And I was unaware that Hypa actually supplied them. So I just bought some from Hypa right now because they got a, they do have a 30% off sale going right now on certain things. It's not everything. 
And um, I got some more string, which was like $19 for a three pound, which is incredibly cheap. So I got some more of that twisted string, which is awesome. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to be giving these shirts away. I might give away one tonight or tomorrow. I'm not sure yet. Um, not tomorrow. Tomorrow's a holiday. Um, maybe tonight I'll go to one again. Later we'll talk about it if you guys want, whatever, or sometime soon. But these are the shirts. And I never wore my shirt around because I didn't want to ruin it because I only had one. I actually cherished this shirt because Hypo was giving them away on their Facebook page. So they have a DIY Facebook page you can get on, and they're always giving away stuff. And they promote other YouTube channels that, um, that showcase some of their stuff. I'm on there. Uh, quite a few others. Um, I have to give a shout out to David Hazardra. I haven't heard too much from him, but he's actually the individual who, him and um, who's the other one from the, uh, come on, Gavin. Gavin's Homestead. Them two, I got um, actually contacted by them prior to them doing a video, and I thought it was fake, like it was some kind of scam, but then I saw that they did a video with them. I said, oh, okay, wow, so they are legit contacted them back and they got me some um, stuff to do some videos and things and it's been a good relationship they contact me from time to time and um i don't really bug them for, i did bug them for the chain i kind of wanted a new, a new chain i said ah, i want to see what the big deal about is with this chain that they had because they were giving them away free at one time but um right now they, they got an incredible deal it's 80 percent off for your chains i'm actually going to get the 12 inch one for my um pole saw because i got another brand on amazon and i'm not happy with them um i got these on amazon i mean you can get what you want it comes in a nice cool box um the zip top whatever it's called but they come nice like this but um this is what i was expecting for a cheap price they, don't really cut all that great. I mean, they cut like a brand new chain, but nothing to, to write home about. You know what I mean? So I was static with the Hypa chain that I got. So I want to order, probably going to order that tonight. I'm going to go on their web and it's like uh, 80% off right now. So I'm going to, I don't, I don't want them to be giving me a bunch of free stuff. I don't want to take advantage of it. You know what I mean? So I'm going to order my own stuff. I'm not saying that I wouldn't take it for free. I'm just saying I just don't want to always be bugging them for uh, free stuff all the time. I just feel like a, you know, wear my um, welcome, you know. Anyway, but um, but yeah. So what I'm going, what happens with the zero turn is something I want to talk about today. Also, you see, I can't see the live chats anymore. Where'd they go? All right. Okay. Hey, um, was it Cameron? Was it you, or was it somebody else wanted me to do a video? with the uh, side-by-sides over at Tractor Supply and Lowe's. I was at Tractor Supply today, and um, I know I've seen, I know you've all seen this. It's not new. They got this little Jeep that's, uh, it's like, got like a lawnmower engine in the front somehow. It's like, I mean, if, if you have kids that you just got the money, this thing would just completely make their day. It's got a little gas can on the back, a little jer jerry can on the back that literally is real, that comes off. Um, it looks just like a World War II uh, Jeep, and adults can actually drive it. Not comfortably, but you can get in it. I actually sat in it, and I was just thinking to myself, oh, man, if I just had money to waste, I think I would have to have this, because it's it's not something that you would, you know, be able to use, because it's too small, but it, it, it was just fun to sit in. There was a little kid there also, and he was looking at the, um, at the, uh, at the mini bikes, and he was telling me all about the Jeep. He was like, yeah, it's got a real gas can in the back, too. I was like, oh, wow, I didn't even know that. I was like, thank you. He goes, yeah, I like this, I like this one. He was like, yeah, that one's nice. <laughs> that, was, that was fun. Um, but anyhow, um, yeah, so that was my little fun experience today at Tractor Supply. I had to go get these. Um, I've got, the reason why I went there is because I know I gotten this from them last time. Uh, these V belts for the hydro on here. Um, I went ahead and ordered it on Amazon. Um, Hypa did not have them available. I checked them. Um, the parts on this particular mower, I look. I like the Husqvarna, but I don't recommend um, if you don't have a lot of dealers in the area because it's so hard to find parts for this machine. That's, I, I get so tired of it, but. Um, I mean, I'm having it all these years, and I got my money spent in it, so I'm not, 
I'm not all about to just go ahead and buy something new just for the hell of it. John Deere is your turn mower. Yep. John Deere's is a lot of them, so you can get parts. John Deere Toro are your two most uh, widely used brands, so you can almost find them anywhere, the parts, you know. Believe it or not, Bad Boy is more available than this thing. Um, don't get me wrong, this is a nice machine. This thing is overbuilt for a Husqvarna. This is the commercial version, okay? If people, people don't know, if you do remember the brand Yazoo Keys, Husqvarna bought them. This is what Husqvarna does. They buy a company to get their stuff. Um, so they bought uh, Yazoo Keys to get their commercial mowers, which were on par with x -Marts. They're pretty much the sister cousins, you know, of each other. So that's why they were pretty good, well-built machines. Because some of the technology in here is like old stuff, you know, compared to the new stuff that's out there. But it still works and it's tried and true. Um, just go get an old, look at an old Yazoo Keys and look at a Husqvarna MZT. They're identical, you know. Uh, John Deere MZ 978. Yep. Nice smell. Nice smell. I just saw that. I can't read too far, but um, but yeah. So I got these V belts. This is for the hydro gear on here. Of having you know breakdowns over and over. You you know you learn from your mistakes. So um. I started to hear so one thing I learned about lawnmowers, especially zero turns. Pretty much any mechanical piece of equipment. You hear something off, there's something off. And I was helping out my buddy Billy, Billy Goat, and we were trading some time and um, doing a leaf mulch up, which is one of the most abusive things you can do to a zero turn rider mower is mulching up leaves. I'm, I'm not talking like just your average ordinary, I'm talking about shitload of leaves. Um, especially this time of the year where they're all compacted and stuff and sticker gumballs get up in there. Let me see. I'm on my cell phone, so I can't see the live chats too well. Also bought me a new DeWalt. Walk behind mower. Yep. Those battery mowers are really coming along. I was in tractor supply and I was looking at the DeWalt model. Not to, to fair from this. It's got a real thin base on the, um, on the, on the deck. I'd really like to understand why they did that. It's like not deep at all. I don't know what's going on with that. I've never seen a mower like that before. It's something that's a whole different design. Whoa. It's so windy. The lights just went out for two seconds, came back on. Wow, must have hit a wire somewhere. Um, yeah, it's a weird design. Uh, I like to know how that works. <sighs> 40, oh, 48 inch mower. Okay, I'm probably talking about the um, the little the little ones. Okay, yeah. Um, yeah, those are nice too. Yeah. Um, anyway, but like I said, I got the V belts. Okay, now I, I have, you have to cross reference to find parts. That's what I found out. You can go to e, e replacement parts.com, and they're getting tricky. You've really got to go through it like you're buying it sometimes to get the the part number because they won't give it to you anymore. So you have to go through, put it in your cart. The part number's there, and then just delete it, get out of it. You can get the part number. You can go to Amazon, you can buy it, or you can go to eBay, you can get the part. Um, but actually, Husqvarna, believe it or not, actually has a, um, a shop now. So you can go in their shop and buy their parts. So some of their stuff is ridiculously overpriced, and some of it is like a buck over, you know, something like that. So I was just dumbfounded by their pricing. Like I was looking at oil filters, and they wanted like $35 for one oil filter for here. When I went on Amazon, I'd get two for $35. I was like... Wait a minute. So they had the belt that goes all the way through here. It's $169 for the deck belt. I went on Amazon, the very same belt. It better be the same belt because I just ordered it. And um, it was only like $113 or something stupid like that. I was like, that's a huge difference. And if I get it and it's not an OEM belt, I'm sending it right back to the MFers. I hate when they do that shit. And then you get it and it looks like something like this and it's not OEM. They, they paste and clip the OEM from their website. That better not be the case. Um, that's why I ordered another set from Amazon, a cheap one. It looks it actually goes to a bad boy, and it's the exact same size belt. So I just ordered that. It was like sixty bucks for that belt. It looks like this. It's blue. So I figured, well, hey, why not? I mean, I, if I, it's wrong, as long as it's the right measurements. If I have a backup, I have a backup. Because right now I don't have any backup belts that are worth a damn. I do have one for this one. But I don't know where it is. I hang my belts everywhere, but I, I got to start putting them in nice setups so I can find them. Uh, 
this place is a mess. Well, I'll show you. I have another box here full of belts. I save, I save everything. Very good. Got a box here full of belts and stuff. I was looking in here last night. I didn't even realize I had another Toro Time Master recoil. That was shit, but it actually is better than the other ones that I saved. So if you have a Time Master, you know what, what I'm dealing with. These things break on regular. Okay, just, just cheap materials. Briggs and Stratton really just made a, a shit for nothing on a coil retractor, but you gotta do what you gotta do. So I saved them if they're, if they're somewhat good. This one, I think it was clicking and I couldn't take the noise. I got another belt. I don't know what this goes to. It went to something. Well, what's weird is the Hydra belt that's on here actually has a cog too, which does nothing, and it's just part of the design. So I don't get the whole cog when you don't even need it. Um, so here you go. This is probably... I have a couple other zero turns, so this I don't know. remember what they went to. They're so old and worn out. And then this... Oh, I know what this goes to. This goes to the snowblower. Look at this weird-ass one. I think this goes to the snowblower because you got those big belts. I think that's what this goes to. I can't remember. I was looking at this like, what the hell does this go to? It's got to go to something, right? I don't, know. I don't know why I keep them. I'll never freaking use them. But it's just like, I just feel like, you know, that one day where you need something. But at the whole point, if you don't, you don't put what it is, there's no sense even keeping it. It's stupid. Stupid is. Stupid me. Anyway. So, um, I was going to show you guys how to do this. I don't know if you want to see it. I'm going to make a video later because I don't have no room on my phone. I bought me a new lawn care enclosed trailer. Nice! Nice, nice. That's always a good day. Right now, there's a lot of sales on everything. I don't think the economy is doing as good as they say it is because everybody's got sales right now. Um, especially lawnmowers. I mean, geez. I really want to get something new, but it's like I don't need it yet and i hate the fact that i'm going to if i get to that point where it's like you know what carlo it was a month or two ago and they were 1500 dollars off and you could have just got yourself a new one then it's like damn it but um I, I, what i've learned over time is to not spend foolishly and sometimes i do so Oh, one day I got to really get into. It. I got a, I got a, a shit problem going on with Husqvarna right now with a uh, weed whacker. Um, I bought the 525 LST, and it shakes like crazy. And I got an email from Husqvarna from the dealer, this horrible dealer that I went to. They were nice a long time ago. Now they're horrible. They're down south, southern Maryland. Um, this 231. These places just they don't know what they're doing. They sell everything under the sun now, and they don't even care about their mower department. And um, it's Shakes like crazy. I got a letter from Husqvarna saying, oh, it's, it's supposed to do that. And you can't turn it on its edge to edge with. It's not meant to do that. And I'm thinking to myself, that better be a made-up letter. Because I'm going to contact Husqvarna. I haven't had a chance yet and show them that email. I'm like, if you guys set this out, everybody who was on that team needs to be fired. Because there's no way in hell that you cannot turn your weed whacker on its edge. That's a $400 weed whacker. Now Lowe's sells that same one. One part of me said, just go to buy, go to Lowe's and buy one and return that one to Lowe's. But no, my luck, there's a VIN number on there somewhere where I'll get caught. But I mean, no, I, I want to nip this in the butt. I mean, really, I want to figure out what's going on. I can't use that weed whacker. It drives me crazy. And um, so anyway, we'll talk about that another time. Um, but anyway, so yeah, I was at Tractor Supply. So I ordered two belts. I bought, I bought two belts. And the reason why is because... This is an 86.7 size belt, half inch belt that goes on here for the for the hydro gear setup for this mower. And last time I remember, I got an 80. I actually had to watch my own video of me doing it. And I good thing I went like this in the video because I was able to screenshot it and looked at it. And boop, there it is. That's what I used. I didn't write it down anywhere. Um, so this was I used was a half inch 87 inch belt. Now I do remember this was a little wonky. So that means it was a little bit too big in here. It was still whomping around. So because it's an 86 and a half, which I didn't know what the number was, or 86.7. So it's probably almost a three quarter. I have no idea. It's a little bit more than 86. And um, so this one's an 86. So it might be too tight. 
So I figured for $20, $22, whatever these things are, that's cheap compared to what the the belt costs for this. So it's like 60 some dollars for the belt. I said, I'll get two of these, try them, see what works. Because I need this mower. My lawn care just started. I didn't get but one or two days to use this thing. And um, something told me you need to look at the belts. Just go down there and look at the belts. And my lazy ass didn't feel like doing it. And then I went to go do that last job with Billy. And um, everything was fine until like three quarters of the way through. I took a break to right the backyard and I started it up. And I just kept hearing this. Womp, 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 womp. I'm like, that don't sound good. So I was thinking, you know, something was loose. Or freaking um, another one of them damn uh, gumball stickers got stuck in there somewhere. That's happened. Couldn't find anything. Sure enough, look at the belt. It's all shredded on one side. So I'm thinking to myself, this thing's got like minutes before it snaps. And I was going to cut one yard with it. I took it out. If you look at my Facebook page, I took a picture. I actually used the right standard B on it. And actually, it cut okay with the skag blades. And yeah, I, I got a problem with everything. If you follow me, you know I'm having a problem with that mower. Um, it's cutting okay right now. I don't know what to say. It's cutting okay. Still not the quality that I'm looking for, but it's cutting way better than it was. Um, so that's that's good. I'm starting to live with it. But... Um, but yeah, so I'm going to put this belt on really quick. And I found easier ways to do this than having to take everything apart. And uh, we'll get into it in like two seconds here. So I guess that's why I'm just going to explain these two belts and why I have them. So the other belt will come in the mail through Amazon probably... When did they say? Uh, it won't come till Friday. So I can't go without a mower. I can't go without my main my main mower until Friday. And then I'm going to feel like breaking, breaking out the loaner. I don't even know if that one runs anymore. That's what I got to do one day. I got to go through all my stuff and start breaking everything out and cleaning it and fixing it and just getting it ready to go. And getting ready. I got so much stuff in here. It's not even funny. Just collect over the years. Little dumb stuff just starts adding up. You know, being doing this for a long time, you come across mowers and you're always trying to buy the next thing and thinking of the next step ahead. That's how I am. I'm always trying to think of the next step ahead. I never can enjoy the moment that I'm in. Because I'm always, like, right now I'm thinking about something else to do. I don't know. I, I think it's ADHD or something. I have no idea what it is, but that's just how I am. Let me see here. Who's all in here? Um, we got three people. We had four. Uh, Cameron. Alan. Sanders Lawn Service. Okay, cool. All right. I got a John Deere. Okay. Billy Goat. Billy Goat's in here. This is Billy Goat, sir. Billy Goat, Carlos. Nice shirts from Hypo. They actually have good aftermarket parts. Yeah, they actually do. That's all I was getting at. Their stuff is actually pretty damn good. I was really shocked. Um, you, you would think that, you know, a company that's like, you know, you know the stuff's all made in China, right? You would think that it's just total trash. Well, it's not. I'm telling you. It's, it's on par with the factory stuff. If not, I think this is I hate to say it, but I think this is one of the um, next companies that you're going to see in the next couple years just grow. I've said this before about a lot of other things, and I've been right. I think this company in the next couple years, you're going to see them grow where they're going to be like a, a premier aftermarket parts company because they're doing everything right PR-wise, and they're doing everything right um, uh, uh, quality as well. And they're giving you a lot for your money, so... I'm just thinking. I'm glad I got a hold of, a hold with them now. Why everything's just starting off, and uh, other folks as well that are in the circle. We all we all know about this. Yep. Okay, cool. You guys are still here. I feel like I got friends now. What's that thing that's going around with that little kid saying? I want to thank you all for the 20 followers that I have, and people keep making like mean Facebook things out of it. That's that's how I feel. Uh, anyway. I'm trying to get this angle here to show you guys. I'm sorry if I'm bending into the picture because this phone is just absolutely horrible for angles. Um, but I really wanted to do a video on showing how to change out this belt. And I went through it already, loosened up all the bolts, so it's going to be quick and easy, I'm thinking. And um, that's what I'm going to try to do. And um, if you all stick around, I might give away a shirt at the end of this. So stick around. Uh -huh. I got a whole 
box full of shirts to give away. I'm telling you. A box full. I want to wear some myself as well, but I got the extra, extra large for the big boys, all right? I know everybody's not as thin as me. All right, there you go. It's a shirt. Like I said, this one says extra, 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 extra large. Right, I'm going to throw that up there. Oops, sorry. All right, so I also bought some more grease. I always get this at Tractor Supply. They seem to have a good good price on it. It's always just travelers. You can get it anywhere. I get the red lithium grease. Um, Echo X Mart actually makes a grease that's identical to this, I believe. Um, I didn't see that we said it or the color or whatever it is. Um, there, there's a mentor. I call him a mentor. There's a, there's a mechanic that I would always go to even when I got started. There was a dealership around here, which I don't like the dealer, but I do like the people that run that work in there. And um, they actually, I forgot what his name was. It Bob? Billy knows what I'm talking about. Um, you can go in there and he'll, he'll, and he'll just talk to you and, get, and we just you get a good conversation with them and they really, really inform you. It's a shame because I really would buy a lot of stuff from that dealer if it wasn't for the... Um, it wasn't for the owner. I just, he's rubbed me the wrong way many a times. Just, anyway. But um, I still like going there and chit chatting with him. And I, I still buy parts from them. Um, but he actually, you know, would mentor me and tell me what to use and what to get. And I'd buy my stuff from him because he was really honest. He knows what he's talking about. Um, and he had mentioned about the red. He always said, get the red stuff. We're using it for your mower. And so this is what I get. I get it because he said so. This is lithium grease. This is heavy duty, heavy duty lithium grease. Um, but like Xmart makes a grease themselves, which is probably the same thing. I, I don't know, but that's like one of the better greases. So there you go. So this here we go. This is the PZT 54. So if you have a Red Max, this is identical. Um, only thing is, is the Red Max has some newer functions on it, and they changed some stuff. It's a little bit updated, but it's basically the same thing. Um, which I don't know why they don't. Sell. I'd buy the Red Max now because I, I like this model better than the new one that Husqvarna has. I don't like the new one. There you go. And I don't. I don't like the way the new Husqvarna looks. Um, and uh, they put these damn stop things in the handles, just like the um, like the uh, the uh, Hustlers. And I don't like that because I like to have be able to turn and leave one side free. It allows the wheel to roll. And so you don't dig if you're going around flower beds it's like a sharp turn you can set one side out in the, in the neutral and leave it free and the wheel will spin if you have the ones where you lock it when you come out it locks even while you're rolling which it shouldn't do that and i don't know why it does that i was at the i was at the um the gie and i was testing that and i was like this is stupid like while you're engaged you, you go out here into neutral it actually locks the wheel i'm like well shit, i'm driving and you don't want that wheel to lock I don't get it. Uh, do they not test their stuff? I don't get it. No. Maybe they fixed it because I did. I did. But I did great raise hell about that. Anyway, but um, so here's the belts. Okay, we're gonna do the um, I'm gonna do the '86 because I don't. I, I, I like to see if it if it works. So where's the '86? This is the '86. I'm gonna put this one off to the side here. This is just hanging here. Okay. All right. I'm going to bring you guys over here. I already tested out the angle, and I think this is going to work for you to watch this. Uh, we'll start on top here, then we'll go down in, in here as well, and I'm going to show you what I've done. And this particular mower, I'm just going to say this is what kind of sold me on buying this mower, because I saw other guys doing um, demonstrations on how easy it is to work on. And that's no joke. This thing is really, it's got a lot of, a lot of other manufacturers should probably take lessons from this one. I, mean, I don't care if you don't like the mower or not, but the way they engineered this stuff, you got to give it to, 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 to them on that. They did engineer this thing well. I'll even show you something on the back that even the Husqvarna guys didn't even know. I had to show them that. So anyway, and there's a dumb flaw here, and I'll tell you what the dumbest flaw is in a second. So let's go over here and let's show this out here, okay? Um, how do I do this? Okay, ready? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to change the camera angle. So just hang on with me here. We got here extra, extra, extra large. Now you're talking. Yep, that's what I'm talking about. Who just likes those heavy women? All right. Oh, let's go down here. All right, here we go. You guys, all with me still? 
All right. Now, this is what I was talking about. This mower is very well designed when it comes to accessibility. And something that a lot of mowers don't have is a heavy-duty tensioner spring, which is right here. This thing is freaking massive. This is why I don't haven't broken as many belts as I should have because of that right there. Now, in here, okay, this is really wide open. The seat went up here out of the way. This right here is the stupidest design ever. I'm going to change it actually um, to put two towers, one here and one here. You should not have your hydro fluid together like that because I had a hydro that went out on one side. And so if there's problems in there, it probably cross-contaminated into this side, which it really much could have. When I was at the dealer, I said, well, can you just change the oil on your side? And they were like, why should you do that? I said, well, don't you think it could cross-contaminate if there's any metal fragments? Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. Dumbass. All right. So I had them do the whole thing when they did it. Okay, now here, here's, here's what I'm going to get at. I already went and loosened up all these bolts. There's one bolt back here. Okay, take that off. Now watch this. This fits right in. You can actually lift this up. Look at that. that play comes right out. I mean, easy peasy. So I've got the ZT 3400s Hydro Commercial Grade. Like I said, this is a commercial mower. Don't knock on it because it's a Husqvarna. This is not, this is not a Lowe's Husqvarna, okay? This is their top-of-the-line commercial. All right, it's not saying much, but it is okay. Give me a break. Now there's two bolts right here on this one. This is on the fan cover. Okay, look at this. They come out that easy with your hands. Now I I loosen them with a with a half inch nut first, so I'm not that stupid. All right, so there you go. They come out, and this is heavy duty freaking steel i mean this is thick stuff this is like almost a quarter inch thick or an eighth inch down this is this is heavy duty stuff very overkill i think this they could have went with a thinner piece of metal and, and took out some of the weight on this mower but it's it's heavy duty you can step on this all right and there's one on the other side let me take that off there you go see that's it right there. Look at that. I can't see any messages that are coming up here. You guys all still there? Are you still there on me? All right, there you go. If you're finding this stuff interesting, give me a thumbs up. I mean, if it's stupid, I don't know. Give me a thumbs up or something. I, don't know. I think my ego needs a boost right now. There's your belt. Look at how shredded this freaking belt is. Now, I don't know. I think this is where the cog was on it, or if it didn't even have a cog. I don't know. But this thing is just shredded, and when it's going around, it's 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 doing that. This right here, when it's hitting this um, tensioner ring, this thing is wobbling all over the freaking place. I mean, you can hear it just going, woo, 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 woo. And it's bouncing like crazy. But that's what it's supposed to do. And um, where's the diagram at? Cause I'm gonna forget this shit. There's no diagram. Great. There's supposed to be a diagram somewhere. I'm gonna forget it. Well, I can see he kind of goes taking mental pictures in my head right now. With a, there you go. I'll take another one. All right. So um, this has got the FX730V, which I think is very underpowered. Husqvarna, if you're listening to me. Um, but it, it gets the job done. All right. Um, so it gets the job done. I just think that if it had just a little bit more power, this thing would be like the top like the best because there's some situations where i wish it had just a little bit a little bit more faster but then again you really can't cut when it's fast anyway so you really don't need all that speed it's fast enough for me um eight mile an hour that's i could tell when eight mile an hour because there was a uh speed trap in front of one of my customers houses that's actually the uh the main video on my youtube page when you go to it it's all about that so anyhow so i didn't have to get a new battery this year it was just completely drained out I charged it up with the Harbor Freight Charger, which is, I can't, the gauges don't work on it. Um, okay, so that's it right there. That's the opening, okay? Now, I'm going to jack it up, and we're going to go to the bottom. I'm going to show you the reason why I'm opening all this up right here. You think, well, this is stupid. Well, the reason being is I'm going to be able to get up here and feed all this wire, this um, belt through without having to do it from the bottom. 
And that's why I wanted to show that because I didn't really pay attention that that all came off so easily uh, when I did it the last time. So that's why I wanted to show that. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to move the camera to another angle. We're going to I'll show you the other side. What, what we're going to do next? Okay. All right. Here we go. Oh. All right. You guys all still there with me? All right. I got a little kickstand. On, on, on the mower, on, on the um, on the phone, okay? Get your mind out of the gutters. All right. So let's go down here, okay? Look at that. That's a cool mower, isn't it? I wish you had a cool mower like that. All right. All right. Let me show you right here. Oh, oh crap. Here you go. Okay. I want to show you right here, if you can see it through here. Right there. This little bracket right there, this has got to come off. So like, this is your half inch bolts right there. This has got to come off and I'll, I'll show you why it has to come off. Also, this wire is going to be in the way, but right here I found out it's unsnaps, which you got to put like a screwdriver or something in there to pop it out. Um, that's key to, well, that is key to not having to tear the whole entire thing apart. That, that's key. Okay. Alright, you can see it, but you can see it right here. Put my hand on it. Can you see it? There it is. Right there. See it right there? This bracket has got like a stopper here. I don't know what this is for, like a tension on this belt. Because I I don't want to have to take the tensioner off over there, which if I have to, I have to do that. That's what I was pointing out, that big heavy duty tensioner. It's just a bolt, you bolt, you unscrew it out, and then it relieves the tension on it. But getting it back and set in the right place is so hard to do because you have to dial it in or else you're cut off. So I'm going to take this off by lipping it, by bumping it off. And I'm going to bump it off by either using a screwdriver or using a um, wrench. And I'm going to show you how you bump it off. Here's the stupid wire that's in the way. This, this is a dumb design. This is in the way because you got to get the top one off, which is that about through this one. And laws of physics won't allow you to do it without taking this belt off. Okay. So, you gotta take this off. Okay. Alright. This has gotta come off. Alright. That came off. Okay. I gotta take that off. Now I gotta take, see if this wire is in the way, it won't allow you to get anything out. Without cutting this wire, which you ain't gonna do that, right? No, you ain't gonna do that. Um, I wish there was a clip like right up in here, but there's not. It's just hard wired in. You don't touch this. Believe me, don't touch it. I don't know why they do this with the hydro. They leave a little tag on there. I ripped the other one off, and they told me not to do that. But it's almost getting ready to come off. That's the new one that they put on. All right. So I gotta come in here now. And take this clip off. So give me a second here. Ooh. All right, I gotta try to find out this angle here. So give me a second. So you guys can watch this. All right, I'm gonna put you back up here. All right, don't lose me. Don't lose me. I care about you all. You're my friends. All right, you're my friends. Okay, here we go. Now I'm just being stupid, folks. All right. I don't remember how I did this. Oh, I have to explain this this black wire. I I what's the what's the per correct way of saying it? I jury rigged it. This black constant feeds all the way to the battery because I wasn't getting a recharge. Something's wrong with the switch. I don't understand it. So we couldn't figure it out. I had. I had the mad scientist Billy Goat over here try to figure it out. He couldn't figure it out either. All right. Why is that hang? Okay, that's the one we need right there. This is nice because it's like a car plug. I got to get a small screwdriver to get that off. So hang on. Hang on. Just want a small screwdriver. That light's like right in your eye, isn't it? 
Give me a second here, folks. I don't What you do not want is you do not want to come to my shop and get the hourly charge because I'll be talking to everybody. You're like, why do you take you eight hours to do a one hour job? You know, it was just difficult to talk to people. That's what it was. You know how hard it is to talk, have a conversation and do the work at the same time, you know? All right, come on. How do you do this now? Come on. I can't remember. What's it come off? Right there, I think that's it right there. Hold on, take the hump stuff off. Oh, don't, don't screw it up, Marlo. Do not screw it up. I cannot afford to break this part. If I break this, I'm out of commission. Oh, it doesn't look like it comes apart. Come on, I know it comes apart. This is not easy. Oh. I got you, you, you. Don't do that, whatever you do. Wow, I can smell it like candles burning. Oh, shit. I hope I didn't fry something now. Damn it. That's not good. Whenever you get something like that, electrical systems, you can really mess this thing up. Really. <sighs> you know what you should probably do is disconnect the battery. That's probably the first part of the... I didn't even think about that. I don't even want... I didn't even think about disconnecting the battery. Didn't. I'm going to do that right now. Dumbass. I'm a dumbass. Let me tell you. Well, look at that. I just grabbed the right one without even thinking. Yeah, you are a dumbass, Carlo. Freaking scared the shit out of me. I don't know why I wasn't thinking that that has anything to do with electrical when it is electrical. I just didn't think. I'm like, it's that mower's not on, so it's not hot. But no, that's running right to That's why I was telling you, I got a constant connection to that battery. My friend, I was just telling you about that. I have a constant connection to the battery. So there you go. Negative's off. Should be off, I guess, right? You don't have a connection. Oh, that's off. All right, let's try to get this biatch off, which I think I already messed it up by doing that wrong. Uh, but this is the whole, see, you think you're doing something faster, but really you're not. I probably could have just taken the damn belt off. And, you know, I still guess it's still got to come off no matter how you look at it. See, that's what happened. I had this in my hand and I was just touching it like that. I forgot how to do these things. It's been a long time. There's another clip right there. There's a clip on the other side. No, that is the side that I took off. My right, clip is off. It's out. So I don't want to come out. Alright, I had a pair of pliers or something. Go like that. See that? Just needed a pair of pliers to rip it. And that came off. There you go. And that's just gonna fall down through there. That was key to get that off right there. So 
Firework show was free. All right. There we go. Firework show was free. There we go. Is that, is it all there? I got to go. It's all right, man. Come on back later. Show still be here. Okay. All right. Sorry about the fireworks there, folks. Um, that was not planned. <laughs> that was not planned at all. Uh, there it is. So you can see right here. This is that wire that I plugged in. I just tied, just kind of like snuck it into the um, alternator stator, or whatever you call this thing, the thing that makes electricity back into DC from AC. Because this is making AC. It's got to convert it into DC coming out, which brings it. To your your components to your battery because this thing is making electricity so it keeps your battery going it's, it's all about it's all science it's all magic it ain't science it's magic all right so there you go there's that stupid plug that's got to come down all right use one of these to get that belt off so are you following me if you're not i don't know let's go down under here all right now, what I should do here is this. Check. Just so I can get under here and show you guys. All right. I hope it's not cutting out on me now, the damn camera. All right, here we go. Let's put some light in here. TV camera going on. Here, what's going on? All right. I guess the light was better the way it was before. So there you go. I got it jacked up off the floor, like about a couple inches here. Now, there's that wire I was telling you about. That's how you can get your belt out. Now, this has got to come off. This is your deck belt. Now, I should just go up front and take the tension off of it, but I'm going to I'm gonna bump it. So, I'm going to show you what I'm going to do here. I'm going to put this on there. And bump it. I call it bumping it. See that? That's called bumping. Oh shit, that's not good. The whole fucking thing moved on me. Ah, damn it. I'm hoping this was right. This is where it was. This is your freaking um a little bolt up here. This is your clutch. It's gotta be sitting just right here. That's what this thing locks into. Like this just keeps it stable. Like that, see? Keeps it from going anywhere. It's just a little right there. So that's off now. So now, now we can get this one off. Um, I don't remember how to do this part now. Did I loosen up the tension on that one? I oh, then didn't think that went through too well, did I? All right, I okay, can't just bump this one off, can I? I think I can. Yeah, this one you can bump off because you can really grab it, pull it. So I'm going to bump this one off really easily. Just get your hand in there. That hurt. All right, I'm going to put this wrench up in here to bump it off. And then I'm going to bump it off. We're not bumping off that tension. It's going to go crazy. She's going to go... Wee, 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 So I'm gonna bump. There it goes. Ah, 
Come on, you can bump off. Let's go. Bump off. Uh, you know what? I'm afraid of getting my hands caught up in there, so I'm going to bump it off somewhere else. Or get the tension off here. There you go. I just bump it off on one place. That's all you got to do, and it'll come off everywhere. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go up top and do it. That's going to be easier to go up top and do it. All right. do last time I loosen this up oh I took this off yeah I'm not doing that again that was hard that was hard as shit to get back on I remember that there's actually a bolt back here this one and this one and the whole thing come flying off or you take this one off here take that off but I ain't playing that game again no way I'm not playing that game again all right I got I can't hold at the same time so put you over here maybe now this is gonna work I don't know anymore she doesn't want to work for me all right you know what this is getting on my nerves it's not working I can't hold the phone at the same time and do this with you guys all right I lost everybody now what's going on here read this all right gotta get one person I lost everybody all right, you're like he don't know what he's doing. I'm watching this guy go around. Well, if you know what, you know what to do. Let me know. I'll do something different. You know. All right, here we go. All right. Bump it off. I'm gonna bump it off. Here we go. Bump it off. off here. I think that's what I did last time. I just cut it. I don't want to cut it because I want to use this as a reference for the next one. Hey, that's how I did it. I don't quite remember. Well, if I have to, I'll just take a damn spindle off. Now, this thing is crazy under tension. Maybe that's what I did. I yeah, still got some grass stuck in there. Yep. Here's the spring. I can get that off of there in two seconds, but I don't like that. Man, that's on there good, let me tell you. That's on there good.
it's just gotta be able to roll. There you go. It's just about right there. It's right. This is gonna go down a little lower. Ow! There it goes. I bumped it. It's bumped. All right. I bumped it the wrong way though. I wanted it to go the other way. Now I might just myself. Let's see if I can get it from underneath the other side real quick. Damn it, I went the wrong way with the bump. Now I got jammed in there. Oh, you dumbass. Where'd the camera go? Oh, there it is. Hey, folks, give me a second here. I gotta go take a break. Give me a minute. did it wrong. That's just great. Well, if you're still with me, thank you. Um, yeah, I did it wrong. I bumped it on the bottom. I should have bumped it on the top. Because now what happens is it's pinched inside there now. Just made it worse. That's great. Just made it worse. That, that just made it worse. There I am trying to show how easy it is. It ain't easy. That's what I'm talking about. It just that's just how my life is. I do the dumbest stuff like every day. And um I wanted to bump it on top because there's more room here. Now what happens is it's pinched inside this tray that comes across to hold it, and it's still got tension. So what it needs now is I gotta take this um spindle off probably. So I think it's stuck in there. I might have to take this off. So it's it doesn't have I can't even move it. It's, it's wedged in there now really good, so it's ten times worse than what it should be. Uh, or I could probably take this one off. might be easier to take that one off. Let me see. It's bolted on bottom. That one's flat, so that one means it's only bolted on top. It's going to be easier to take that one off. Well, here we go. Here we go. Now i got to take that damn bolt off. But anyway, that's what I was trying to show. Um, I should have bumped it. I had to bump it. The other one it was too hard to get my hand there. 
I bumped the bottom one off very easily, which was expected. Um, this one here I thought was going to be actually easier. This is actually under more tension. It's a smaller belt. There's less space for it to get through. Um, don't want to have to take too much off. So the only other option I have now is either pull this spring out. But I still think it's wedged under here and it's not going to go anywhere because I can feel it. She's caught up right in there. Uh, unless I try to bump it again, but bump it completely over it. And up top here where it's got more room to play around this thing. Versus down here where it's pinched up beneath the tray or the, the bracket going across to hold it up. And that's a lot of pull to get it up to bump it over. Let me try that. Maybe that might work. Let me just try it. That might just work. Let me try that. That might work. Uh, you know what? Screw it. This this coming off. That's coming off. I'm tired. I can't. See how easy that was? You dumbass. That's what I did last time. Now I remember what I did last time. How stupid I am. Come on. That was so freaking easy. Oh, try to bump it up. Make it easy. Look at this, everybody. Dumbass. That's the way you do it. See? Now, watch this. She's free bird. All right. She is free bird. Look at that. There's a whistle. Alright. Don't lose this stuff. Okay. What's I talking about? Alright. So, if you this far, let's see, what is this? 108. I gotta put it in there. Fast forward to 108. So when I go back to make the actual video, I can do that. That was so much easier. How stupid was I? How stupid. I thought I remembered how I did it. But it's like now I remember. I bumped the bottom. I didn't bump the top. The top one I used, that's why I kept looking at that part going, why do I see this in my head like there's something? I even said it would probably be easier to take that part off. But that's what it is. got to take that little screw out. For some reason, I just, I just thought it was under so much pressure that it was going to wang out, but, like, oh, I made that word up, you know, it's like going to wing itself out and just bust my knuckles up. I don't know, maybe maybe me popping it like that took pressure off of it anyway, so it won't um, come flinging back at me. Maybe that's what I did, I don't know. Well, let's go down under here. All right. There you are. Everybody, wing chum tonight. There you go. Now, this part can come off. See, and it can come past all this, is what I was talking about. And this is why you gotta take that plug out, otherwise, you're not getting this thing out. And then just slide it back up like this, up and out of there. And now, now, let me see if I can get it out from the bottom. It might be easier. I don't know. Might be easier just to get it out from the bottom. Okay, so it goes around this one, and this one goes on the outside. This one goes to the inside, and this one went to the outside. If I remember correctly. There you go. Okay, let's 
inside. This one was the inside also. They're both going to the inside. All right, they both go to the inside. I'm trying to make a mental note. Now, it's got to go up top because there's no way it's going through this. So this has got to go up. But there's, Or you can just give it a ton of space. So you really got to bring this whole thing out of the way. It needs all the space it can to get out. And you almost got to just take it and shove it up. Get it out of here. There you go. Get it out of here. Get out of here. Nope. Get out. So if you make it this far, congratulations. Is anybody still here, or is that just me watching myself? I don't know. If you're here, give me a thumbs up or something. All right, here we go. All right, so now we're up top here. Let's go down here. All right. So I got, if you saw that, this is what you got to do is take this piece off. But I can't quite remember. What's that hole for? That's weird. Else, I don't know. Maybe me bumping it off allowed this to come off without being under tension because that was, don't remember that being that easy. All right, so now getting it up around these fans is a pain in the ass. There we go. So I'll throw that fan down there. That's got to come down anyway. It's all got to go down eventually. Up and over and down and out. I don't want to break the fans. That gives me an idea. All right. These are your cooling fans. Cool down your hydros. Right. There we go. She's out. We ring the bell. Tapping out. Look at this thing. Oh, see what I'm talking about? It's just shredded. Every one of these little bumps is what was making all that noise. And I was afraid it was going to break one of the pulleys or something. Obviously, I mean, the belt has still got tension to it. I mean, like, it's not broken. But this, I don't know what all this is. What's going on here? Did it have cogs? I don't think it had cogs. I don't know why the new one that I'm buying has cogs. It don't make any sense. But there it is. That's the belt. Let me check it up against the other one. So I'll bring it down here now. So there's the belt. Okay. It's all messed up. You know. So we'll see the new one here. This one, I mean what a lot of wear. I mean huge amount of wear. You can see that. It's close, but the thickness on the sides, it's been worn down, I mean, really bad. So let's take this one out first. Let's see how close it is to this one. I might have to use the 87 because I'm thinking that it's been stretched because it's been here for so long. And that's little space in between here to here. Let's see. It's definitely, the old one's definitely bigger. You can see that. Let me put it around something that I can give a good pull on it. see that see that how much difference that space is but then again yeah so 
I'm gonna have to go with the 87 the 86 is just too tight I think it's too tight I think it's gonna cause problems that's way too tight I mean I almost got a finger through there all right take that one off anybody there right. let's put that belt back on the sleeve I can return this one that's twenty-two dollars. Okay. On that side. Let's try this one. This is what I used last time. So I did a really good job of using the um, belt stretch uh, measuring thing there at the store. To, of course, my belt was snapped when I when I measured them. So let's see. Uh, I freaking chainsaw magic again. What does that shit? I hate that. That's close. I mean, real close. You can tell it's like almost identical, but it's a slight hair bigger. See that? It's just like a, it looks like an eighth. Of it. That was live, folks. It's like a quarter inch bigger. So that's what that seven is for. That's why it will fit better. So that's so damn close that I can't complain. I mean, that's very close. So this is definitely going to be a spare backup um, when I get the new one in. The 86 can go back. That doesn't even work. So there you go. And what I'm going to do here is this is what I did last time. I thought take the old belt and stick it in this new container, and I'll hang on to this just like this. I need to write on there that this is the original. This is the temporary fix. It's off by a point three or point two. It's off. So but it'll work. So. This is one of those get her done type moments, you know, I gotta do something in the meantime. So by the time the belt comes in. Um, so on the weekend, of course, everybody's closed and you know, so there you go. And they probably gotta order it anyway. I've never gone to a shop and had my number ordered and it was like, oh yeah, we got it in stock right here, let me go back and get it. Never. 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 Alright. So now this has got to go back on. This is the pain in the butt part. I'm gonna remember this part. Okay, I do remember. The back's got to go on first. The, under the, the engine, under the um, clutch. That's actually got to go on. I mean, I want to, like, fakely bring it in there. But the back's got to go on first because that's going to be hard to get on. Or was that easy to roll on? No, the back was easy to roll on. That's why I did. I actually, opposite of bumping it as I rolled it on. I just took the thing right there and just got it in there enough to feed it. Went right in. Now, with me not having that tensioner on there, I'm not quite sure how to do this now. Um, we'll see. But i got to put it under tension now. It's going to be under tension. It's going to be a little pain in the butt to get on there, aren't you? You're going to be a little, you're going to give me some problems, aren't you? It's going to give me a lot of problems. Where the hell does this go? It doesn't make any sense. Well, that holds it in like that. Ooh, I remember now. Yeah, you're not going to be easy to deal with. You're not going to be easy to deal with. You're not going to be easy to deal with. That's got to go under that. Get it all on there. Alright. I don't remember what I was doing. I'm trying to figure this out as I go along. Seems like right now, because there you go. I'm trying to figure this out as I go along. So, oh, let's put it back on the thing there. Let's go. There we go. There we go. All right. Head now. All right. Got to fire up the wood stove. Be right back. All right. Fire up that wood stove. Bring it over here, buddy. I need to get a wood stove. So many people have one. Those things are so nice. All right. Okay. I guess I'll bring it down a little bit so you can see the guts and bolts of this whole thing. All right. Now I gotta remember how to do. I don't remember how to do this. To be honest with you, I forgot a lot. 
um, part of me is thinking to do the top front first and then okay up and over down and under okay that I remember so they're gonna go up and over the um, hydros okay the fans up and over get them back in there okay up and over on that side all right and it's gonna go down and under down and under up and over okay I'm looking at this shit. Next time, I'm taking everything out. I'm taking all the pulleys out. Screw this. I'm going to take every pulley out. There's going to be no pulleys left. I'm going to be like pulling teeth. Freaking dentures. I pull the whole damn thing out next time. All right. Up and over. Down and under. Right in there. Right in there. I can't get much room to work, do they? This is easy access, but you get your fingers in there. not. The loop de doop. There's a loop de doop. There's the loop de doop right there. Alright, let me come up over on that side. Alright, I'll take it from here. Let's see, I'll take it through there. Yeah, get in there. This is the part that's going to go around the clutch. If I can get in there. And one part goes all the way across, the ones behind this beam, right inside this beam. So it goes around them and it goes straight across to this side. So it's going from there to there. Then it comes around. It's like a belt in your car. It has to have tension. So it obviously it goes up. This one was a little bit of an enigma, but it does. This one also goes up too. I hope she's not twisted. You better not be twisted. Push all that down through there. That's all going to go on the clutch. Right, just like that. That's where this tension comes in, I think. Right, I'm gonna leave the camera here because I'm gonna go down there and pull it through really quick. What you got going on there? Carlos, free up the wood, fire up the wood stove. Oh yeah, cool. Yeah, go fire it up. I'll rewrite that. All right, go fire it up. Don't you do that. You've got twisted it somewhere. Where's the twist? It's got twisted it. That's right. <laughs> got to get the twist out now. Shit. Where's the twist?
had to get the twist out. It had a lot of bad twist in it. When I put it through, it had a twist in it. All right. You got anybody in here? We got one. We just got Brutus still in there. All right. Get the twist out. It's not sitting on anything yet. Okay. Now, what I don't remember is how did I do this? Oh, crap. All right. So. Give me a second here. This has got to be pulled on here now. I got to pull that on using a screwdriver or something to get it up and over. Um, don't they make a tool for that? What do I do? What I do want to do is get that bolt on a little bit better so it doesn't fly off and hit me in the face. Can I get it through there? No, I can't. Maybe I can do that. There we go. Let's tighten that on a little bit, a little bit more, just so it doesn't want to come off and hit me. Tension's going to come from. Alright. So basically, now I just got to. How did I do this? It's probably be easier to do it from that side here to take this bolt off and do it the other way. This has got to go in through a locking pin. I can get this up and over that bolt probably easier because I can use this piece to wedge it in like that. Um, so I'm going to take that top nut off. That holds it in place. Oh, I can't. Let me see if I can do that. I can't remember if I did it like this. Grab a, uh... Yeah, a stronger screwdriver is what I need, or an Allen key. I could try this again. screwdriver that's a good idea I just came up with an idea came up with an idea just right there and there it's not a strong screwdriver but just came up with an idea so use this to try to break the wedge the tension a little bit okay and that little part right there it's actually almost enough to give it to diligence. take that top bolt off. It's the only way to get that in there without hurting myself. Yeah, I was thinking I could use this to wedge it over, lift 
Let me up. For some reason, I can't find a big screwdriver. Can't find a big screwdriver. screwdriver this might work I can't find damn screwdriver Can't get leverage on it. There's the problem. Can't get any leverage. I need that leverage. Is what I need. I wish I could lock onto something right there. Just pull it over. Going to it and just get it, you know. I need a screwdriver. I need a big screwdriver. Well, this is probably not going to work. I can't get it in there. Try it. Try it quick. Ah, you bitch. Come on. I need a flathead. 
a screwdriver. This would work if it had a little bit, a little bit longer. I could probably. I'll get the belt of that then. See, I can't hook it around anything. Now I could do the yank it as hard as possible, but there's no room. It's got even any room here to really. I'll do this. I know I shouldn't do it, but here it is. Nope. See, that's tight. It won't work around that one. I take it off and then just try to bump it on this. I got to actually just bump it back on, which is going to be hard to do. I might be able to do that right there. So that I can just bump it back on. That's the only way to do it. It's the only way to do it. It's the only way to do it. It's going to go underneath and try to wedge it on. I can't do it. I don't have the strength or the... I can't get lever in there to get this piece on. Or to do it that way either. I just can't. I don't I need a big screwdriver. So that's the one. I know I lost every... I know I lost everybody. Because my dumb ass don't know what he's doing. I gotta play with that. I'm, I can't do it anymore right now. I'm frustrated. Because that right there is the whole reason why I don't like. So that right there is the whole reason why I have troubles, you know, trying to do stuff on YouTube. It's like something that I don't really 100% remember how to do. I've done it before. I'm not a professional mechanic, so it's like embarrassing if you think about trying to show somebody. It's like, wait a minute, I did it before. I don't remember how. I thought I had it all in the bag. That's what I. That's how, that's how I am. This is how I get by. It's hard. It's really hard. Um, like I'll I'll know how to do something a hundred percent, and then I will forget the little minute minor details that you need the most probably the most important ones i know how to get that on there with a screwdriver flip it on um but i can't remember if i bumped it on that's what i'm gonna try to do. go underneath it and try to bump it back on or roll it i call it rolling it rolling it back on um because if it's moving freely i can roll it that's probably what i'm gonna try i'm trying to go from underneath and try to roll it on because now that it's got tension it'll roll on and won't come off but it's under a lot of tension. I mean, that thing is, that little spring is under a shitload of tension. I mean, I guess it has to be in order to hold on there. But you wouldn't think that that little spring right there is doing anything. No, it's it's doing its job. Let me tell you. Can you imagine how much tension that big one is under? Holy crap. That'll probably break your fingers. But that one that's holding the main deck is under a ton of pressure. It's got a little adjuster in there that goes up and down. You just tighten that bolt, and you can tighten the, the tension on that very easily. Um, but like I said, that thing is, you have to unloose the bolt on that. There's no way you're you're moving that thing at all. But I rolled it underneath. I'm hoping I can roll it back on. I don't like doing that because I'm afraid of ruining the casters. You know, um, the pulleys. It's not a good, it's probably not a good practice to do that. Because I could be causing more damage to that clutch and right there than it's worth trying to do it cheaper and trying to do it faster. And I gotta keep that in the back of my mind too. I always forget about little little details that I really could be screwing things up with. I'm stupid and I'm lazy sometimes. I just want to get it done. Um, I don't know. I might just stop what I'm doing and I might um, 
I might take the whole tensioner off that. I don't know if I want to roll that belt back on. I'm, I'm going to have to do it twice. So I'm going to have to take that tensioner off anyway when I get the other belt because I don't want to keep doing that. That's, that's not safe for the um, clutch to keep doing that. You know, I don't want to get any play in there. You get a play and then it starts wobbling and starts war warping its way out and then you're screwed. But I think this one I'm just going to put it back on because I got to get to work. Um, so that's what I'm going to do there. Anyway, uh, where are we at here? Anybody here still? All right. If anybody's here, let me know. Say hello or a thumbs up or something. And uh, talk about something really quick. But yeah, this is not fun. That little, that little part right there is not fun. Easy access. Oh yeah, you can get to it all. Doing it. Another another story. So I really got a hand to the guys that work on this stuff all day long. I mean, that's you know they do it all day long because they know all the tricks to the trade. You know, I go through a phase where I'm working on stuff all the time and it's second nature to me. But there's times like now where I haven't. It's rusty. I haven't really played with anything for over a year, and. Uh, and I get that bug where I want to start messing around with it now. Now, now that I'm into it, I go up and down. I go all over the place. There's so many adjustments in here now. Looking at this, it's crazy. There's even adjustments on the on the cables or the, or the rods going to the arms to adjust the hydros. You can see all the adjustments on there. What I do got to find out is about the creep. I got to find out how to fix the creep because it's creeping on me. It didn't creep on me until I got the hydro fixed. I don't know what they did. But there's something on the bottom down there that you can adjust. I haven't found it. I'm not sure what they were talking about. I'm going to have to watch a video on it. Or, or I'm just going to have to adjust the arms up in here. Tighten and loosen. It's probably got to be loosened up just a little bit. Because when I do, when I do stop, it creeps. And I hate that. I hate that creeping. I really hate when it does that. You don't want to have a, a mower. That's a creep. Mm -hmm. All right, well, that's my cue to get out of here. I got to call me, which if you saw the beginning of this video, you know what it's all about. All right, I'm going to come out, and then maybe maybe I'll come back on tonight or the next couple of days, and we'll talk about the free shirts. So um, if you're the last person in here, let me know really quick. Someone's in here really quick. Still here. Brutus Outdoor Service. Brutus, you won yourself a t-shirt. That was the whole goal of this video, was to see who could put up the longest. So, um, if you go to my Facebook page and message me, go to the Cutting Force Lawn Care channel and message me so I can get, get a shirt out to you. I don't know if I sent anything out to you before. I might have your address. I'll have to check and see. But you won yourself a shirt. Congratulations. That was half the I knew everybody was going to cut out. I knew everybody was going to cut out. Wait for that one last person to stick in there. You got yourself the first free shirt. So extra large or double, triple X, whatever it is, let me know. I'll get that out to you when I get a chance. Still here. So Rudis Outdoor Services, you won yourself a Hypo t-shirt. You got the first one. So thank you. Congratulations. <laughs> I knew you at least somebody was there. I was like, I said, I was like, I got to, I got to, I got to reward people who follow me. Not just any random person because, you know, uh, that's, that's what I want to do. So, you know, I'm waiting for that last person that hung out with my bullshit. You deserve it. You deserve it because that was some stupid shit that I just pulled. I don't know what I'm doing. I really don't know what I'm doing. I'm learning. I can tell you that much. Why is it so zoomed in on me really quick? Hold on a second. Let me do something. Mess. Back out a little bit. There you go. Yeah, that's the next thing I do. I gotta clean this garage up. I had to do a real quick cleanup and put the table off the side just to get this mower in. I cleaned it off last night and it was cold. I had to get this thing clean because I'm gonna do the hydros next. Um, I got the oil coming. I think it's all coming by tomorrow, if I'm not mistaken. Because while it's in here all nice and clean, I want to go through everything. Change the oil, change the spark plugs, change the hydro oil, change the hydro filter, change the fuel filter, change the air filter, change it all up and get ready to go. I'm gonna leave the shit blades on there right now for a little bit longer because I got some more crap to do and then I'll put the nice nice blades back on here. I gotta find them. I got a whole stack of blades over there. I gotta figure out who goes to what. 
and I gotta fix all that stuff. I gotta fix my 580. I gotta get that not my five, my 360, or my what do you call it? My 570, 560. I can't remember. I gotta get that one back up and running because that's the one I like to use all year round. Um, it's lighter. I got new parts for it. I gotta put it all on there, and I gotta adjust the throttle thing on it. It's actually still under warranty. I could take it in it's up to April. 15th or April 19th, it's under warranty. I got the five year warranty, but I just I hate bugging people. It's right at the right at the end of the warranty, but I'll just fix it myself if I can't. But anyway, so thank you very much for sticking in. Um what size what size do you wear there? So it's Brutus, right? Or what is that your name? What up? Ornament. Yeah, ornament grass can be a pain. 40 tons of... Holy crap. Awesome. Well, you won yourself a shirt. i got to find a way to get it to you. Um, I've never shipped a shirt out, so I don't know what it's going to cost me or whatever. It's gonna, however I'm going to do it. So, um, Like I said, the only way to guess get a hold of me is... Um, if you have... Do you have Facebook? Um, you can go to the Facebook channel of this, of this show. Uh, so it's the Cutting Force uh, channel. That's what it says on Facebook. And you can direct message me through there. So it's just me and you talking and I can get your address. Or you can send an email to me. Um, and if that works, I don't know. If anyhow, I'll get a hold of you somehow. I'll send that shirt out to you. Or if you're, um, I don't know if you're, if you're in Maryland, if you're in Maryland, we'll just drive it to you or whatever. But, um. Uh, I can't remember where you said you're from. I do remember now. I don't remember now. I remember you saying it, but I don't remember what it was. That's how my brain works. So anyhow, like I said, once again, congratulations. You won the shirt. Um, I know I'm not doing everything right in here, so I'm going to make a video on this the right way once I figure out how I did it again. Um, and that tensioner bar thing was the tricky part. It's always a tricky part. So I'll see if i got to roll it on or i got to take it off. Right now I'm going to try to roll it on. Put it on, and then I'm going to roll it back on on that other pulley, or do it from the back side. I'd rather roll it on up here and not mess with that clutch as much, so that's what I'm going to try. So anyhow, i got to get out of here because i got someone calling me, but I just wanted to just um, let you know that you won. Um, I don't know if anybody else is here. Uh, thanks. Oh, well, here you go. I'll go to Philly. I didn't see it just popped up now. I'll go to Philly. I, I'm in west of Philly. That's eh, a little dry for me. Uh, it'd be cheaper for me to deliver to order it. To, 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 it'd be cheaper for me to um, to mail it to you. Believe me, that's a little bit of a drive. It's actually not too too far, uh, but I'd rather just I'll just send it out to you. So anyway, go to the Facebook page to the the Cutting Forest Lawn Care channel. If you can't find it, message me on on one of these on this show on this part here. I'll have it running and I'll find a way to get a hold of you. I'll give you my email address, whatever. But that's going to be the easiest way to contact and. Um, I'll send you a shirt. So you're gonna get you're gonna get one, two X large. It says it there. Except you're gonna get the two X large hyper shirt coming out to you. Don't forget to check out their um, specials that are running right now. Uh, the other one only lasts for a couple days, and then the other one for the chains that that's over in like April second or third or something real real soon. Eighty percent off is huge, so they got a big sale going on. Oh, maybe that's why they gave me the shirts. I have no idea, but uh, so you're gonna get the first one. Congratulations. And I'll uh, talk to you guys later. Check out the next videos coming up. See what we got. And everybody support each other in the community. And it's all good to go. So I'm going to get out of here. Thanks again for watching, everyone. Hope you learned something. If you didn't, I made you stupider. <laughs> all right.